All right, randomly. So real quick, I'm making this intro segment as short as possible and straight to the point. And I know, and I'm saying that even though I'm stalling for time. Anyways, it's for the watch time, all right? It's for the watch time. Just kidding. All right. So the clip you're about to see is actually from an old stream that I decided to scrap all together and not make it into an episode and just extracted the most important part. And it's the clip that you're about to see. And then the clip afterwards that once this clip finishes, then you're going to see the actual beginning of episode 31. And that's all I really wanted to do. clarify because it might be a little bit confusing to see my change of clothing between those two clips. And I just want to clarify that real quick. And with that, again, I appreciate all the support you've been showing on this series. I really do appreciate it. I don't know how the stats are going to be looking like once this episode goes up as I'm bulk editing this whole entire episode. I'm pretty sure I'm guessing this episode is going to go up in mid-October or early October, whichever that is the case. Again, if you're supporting me all the way through up to this point, I greatly appreciate it. And if you're a new viewer, hello, Gizmo here. And I'm a weird boy. So if you love gaming, comedy, and learning something new, then this is the channel for you. I just thought I, I expressed that. So with that, I will let my gizmo or old gizmo, whichever gizmo you want to say, uh, old, present, future. I don't even know. I'm all over the universe. So yeah, gizmo, take it away. And I'll see you randomies in the next clip. Bye-bye. I don't think I've spoken to Hanabi lately. Oh, 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 Hanabi. Hanabi, Hanabi, what does that mean? Does that mean that me and Hanabi just created a new bond? Thanks, Yuito. For what? I didn't do anything. When I see you working so hard, it makes me want to work hard too. I think I've matured a little, but it's not enough yet. Level six? I'm not just going to follow after you. I'm going to get better than you and pull you up to my level. So you better be ready. Oh, is that a sexual threat? <laughs> no, okay, no. <laughs> Don't take that out of context. God damn, first level six. You know what? You redeemed yourself, Hanabi. Hanabi, you redeemed yourself from Sugami. Just saying. Maybe because I didn't talk with her. All right. This is freaking amazing. Level six. We get the flame freaking thrower and the enhanced pyrokinesis. So I do have to add this into the video. So this is going to be an episode. I don't know how I'm going to do this segment, but it'll be interesting to see how we do this. All right. So during SAS, unleash a flamethrower on the fifth weapon combo attack it and you will be able to do continuous damage by pressing X repeatedly. Oh, okay. What up, Randomies? This is your boy, Gizmo GX, and welcome to another exciting stream. And today is going to be a very short stream. Once again, yes, I'm very late. I did say it was from 2.30 to 4.30, but your boy, you know, this is another week where I was kind of busy, pretty hectic. But next week, everything should be fingers crossed, fingers freaking crossed. Everything is back to normal. And for those who are watching this on YouTube, what up, Randomies? Welcome to another Scarlet Nexus episode. Yes, this is uh, episode 12 no okay i ended off editing episode 14 like two hours ago and right now i want to say we're gonna probably be in the 25s uh, annoying me annoying me i don't know if i'm gonna include the last stream that i did i don't know because i was just doing side quests and nothing really interesting was happening so i don't know maybe i'll do a little tiny montage and maybe in, ended up like 15 minutes or something or 10 minutes i don't know what i'm gonna do yet but with that let's go ahead and continue this story on i'm super excited to get back into this especially where we left out the last episode we are finally doing our first ever team bond episode so let's see wait give me one second yeah it is a team bond episode okay yeah because i was tripping i was just like well didn't we end up doing that so yeah so if we talk to anyone it doesn't matter we're gonna do a team bond episode so i'm very excited no 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 we're gonna talk to someone here you go all right let's do it team bond episode let's freaking go i should get ready and make dinner what should i cook Kasane's group is out, so it's only six of us. I don't want to make too much. What? Was that Hanabi? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what is it? Are you okay? I I'm okay, but... Oh, she I'm burned it up. <laughs> huh? Is everyone alright? It's too dark to see anything. Yes. 
No one's hurt, but the wall is burnt and the machine is broken. Something malfunctioned? There was a breaker around here somewhere. I see. That's why the lights are out. I'm glad everyone is all right. Oh, the lights? There's a blackout? What happened? <laughs> I'm sorry. It was me. That thing appeared out of nowhere and scared me. <laughs> that thing? Wait, what thing? I saw a black shadow scrambling up the wall. Oh, what? And then this bug came flying at my face and I panicked. <laughs> at your face? Relatable. I don't think you needed to freak out so much, but let's see if we can fix it. I'll take a look. Hanabi, can you give me some light with your flames? Oh, yeah. Looking at the hideout blueprint. Okay. This is here, which means... Hmm. Hmm. The line from the main power supply is burnt clean through. Oh, damn. The mainframe won't work at all like this. So, what does that mean? That we're in trouble. It means almost all the machines in the hideout are shut down. The front door locked electronically, so the only way to get outside is to teleport. On top of that, we need to replace the part. I'll put in an order, but we won't have power tonight. Oh, no AC, no nothing, no so ventilation. Please call me when you want to go outside. I'll collect candles and things to light up the place. If that's not enough, I'll use my flames. All right, then I'll get dinner ready. H Hanabi looks Let's so freaking adorable in that shot. Just looks so freaking adorable. It is kind of depressing to see everything in the refrigerator start to go bad, though. That sucks. I'll use the most perishable things first. The vent fan isn't working either, so I shouldn't use gas. How's it going, Yuito? Can I help you with anything? Thanks, Anabi. I'm fine. I might ask you for some flame to cook with later. Okay. It's only for one night, but it's still a lot to worry about, huh? Yeah. It really shows you how much we rely on modern conveniences. I'm back. Here you are, Yuito. I've got the water you requested. That's water? Thanks, Luca. I thought tap water would be fine, but the filtration system is down. Was it heavy? My boys. My boys packing that muscle. I fulfill Sugumi's request next. That's water? I and Sugumi too. They said they were going to try and fix the power supply. Oh, I'll go too. I've basically decided tonight's menu, and I'm curious to see what everyone else is doing. Really? Let's go together then. Oh. There should be a blue wire around here somewhere. Can you see it, Sugumi? The blue wire is more to the right, below your right ring. I'm finger. telling you, it looks like a bomb. This one? Uh, I can't get it. Wait, I'll light it up. There. Thanks. Okay. Now it's connected. Can you fix the power supply? Wataru said a part needed to be replaced. I don't know yet. I'm trying to see if we can fix it with something here. But it might be hard for an amateur. You look like you know what you're doing, though. I had a lot of missions using electronics. But I don't know much about fixing them. <laughs> Wait. Something's wrong. A spark... Can I get back? Hey, we're shining when you need my boy. Where is my boy Shiden? Yeah, we're fine. Gamma protected me. Thank you. I should thank you. Your warning saved us. Where is Kagero too? It looks like I did something wrong. What? I guess it's dangerous to do it with nothing but superficial knowledge. Let's take a break. All right. Oh, Yuito, watch your feet. You're about to step on Hanabi's toes. Oh, she'll love that. Oh, sorry, Hanabi. That's okay. It sure is hard being in the dark. Oh, and she'll love that. She'll close. love that. Hanabi, your face is red. Are you okay? I'm fine. You sure are calm in this situation, Sugumi. Why things seem normally? Let me know if you need my eyes. I will. Now, I need to get to work. I'll go see Wataru next. I guess she feels responsible for all this. Just let her be until she calms down. I guess we should head back too. Lead the way, Sugumi.
All right. <sighs> that was delicious. Yuito, that was a great meal for just throwing something together. I kind of went all out. Your flame control really helped. Yes, it was perfectly cooked. It also had a great nutritional... <laughs> Are you okay, Luca? Oh, my boy's... Getting a little cold. My boy caught COVID. Nah. Is off after <laughs> nah. Bad joke, like bad it? joke, bad joke. This is a job for me. A small flame with a high temperature. How's that? Oh, she's been practicing from last time. That's warm. Yeah, it's different than a heater. It's sort of relaxing. I look he'd rather be cold. <laughs> it is sort than of strange, sweating. Just like a camp. Like heat, you know. You're right. But in certain situations, accident, I wouldn't want that though. It feels like a nice vacation. Thanks, guys, for trying to make me feel better. This is what teammates are for. In hindsight, it was training for how we handle unexpected situations. It really was unexpected. I think it's a fault in the design for the entire hideout to run off one power supply. Yeah, you're right. This is an evacuation shelter. It should be better equipped for emergency situations. I love Watson's character. If backup power supply, it would have been no problem. But I couldn't find anything like that. Wait, what does a backup power supply look like? Like a big bread box? I guess it would look like that power supply. <laughs> it would With a lot, have a lot of switches. too. I found one beneath the floor panel near the front door. What? I don't understand the makeup, but there are wires coming out of it. Makeup? Let's take a look. My boy Luca with his ability. Oh. It seems our current problem is solved. Now we wait for proper repairs. I can't believe it was something so easy. I completely overlooked this. <laughs> we were all upset over nothing. It was kind of fun, though. What kind of situation was that? Yeah, it wasn't easy, but I feel like we all got closer. We are always fighting, so we've never had a chance to come together to fix a problem peacefully like this. We should all go camping once things calm down. Hanabi can make a fire and everything. That sounds good. I'd love to go. You can leave the barbecue to me. I suppose we should look for a good hiking course now, then. No climbing steep mountain passes, okay? I'm more of an indoor type. Perhaps you could use this opportunity to train yourself. I'll direct you. We can start right away. Damn, look, my boy be like Kabito Kyle here. No, I'm fine. Oh, right, Gemma. We should take a look at the hideout's wiring. It's bothering me. <laughs> All right. It's been piquing my interest, too. I wonder what happened to that... Bug I saw. If you didn't burn it up, it's probably hiding somewhere. Oh in the hell nah. Stop it, Yuito. Oh hell nah. Okay. For real, stop it, Yuito. Found it and took care of it. The bug oh, uh, has been exterminated. Oh my god, Sugumi, you're a hero. Thanks, Sugumi. I'll come to you if I find another one. <laughs> Leave it to me. Damn, Sugumi, you MVP. But I feel like it's even brighter in the hideout now. Yeah, Sugumi okay. is my hero. I'll clean up the dishes. You know what? Han Hanabi? I don't think I've spoken to Hanabi lately. I love you, girl. But but you know what? Sugumi be the real MVP for killing off cockroaches. I cannot stand bugs to save my lives. I have people that live with me that can vouch for that. I cannot. By the way, I just realized we're level four. I thought we were level three. So we did a team bond episode without these guys. I, I feel like really like I oppressed them or something. I think oppressed is the word I'm looking for, but like, eh, whatever. Oh, okay. By the way, it's Misubi from Misubi's, your oasis from the everyday. Thanks for taking on the coded message hunt. A new scene should be available somewhere. Go take a look as soon as you can find and as soon as you can and find that hidden code. You know what? I was literally on a website where all the um all the episodes of Scarlet Nexus comes out and they literally decoded it and I'm just like how the how do you even get the brain processing? Like do you have like another CPU in your head that just knows what's happening? Cuz I know like like the little hints 
I think one of them was like a letter dash 07 or something 10 to 52 or some something like a symbol like that in the anime. They're just little insy bits, like little cut shot, like little scene shots that you'll only see if you like literally stop it at a correct frame and you'll notice it. But other than that, like how do you even decode that? I wouldn't even know. Whoever does that in the comment section of every episode, I shout out to you. Just, just saying. FYI. FYI. Anyways. Alright, so apparently we have some some type of downloadable content. I read that before I started the game, so I wonder what this downloadable content is. Oh, oh, the Yuito and Kasane weapon set star. Except one star base weapon for, what's that mean? Oh, wait, wait, hold up. Spin visions sets, except the, what is all this? Set shine will-o-wisp, will-o-the-wisp. Bone Eater. I want to know what all these are. Hmm. You know what? Let's all, let's accept them. Yeah. I don't know what these are. Uh, they seem like gifts or something. Are these are these just gifts? Hold up. Hold up. Are are these all gifts? Please tell me they're gifts. They look like gifts. All right. Give me a second. We're gonna go into um I think they're this Okay. So is there anything strong? Bro You're lying bro that lo actually looks lit The final strike L look at the design like holy damn the Poseidon, the Poseidon Slayer, the Bone Eater, the Firefly. I, I really want to use this. Even though it's kind of weak. The Plu, the Plu. Bruh. That actually looks lit. This one actually, the Poseidon Slayer. No, actually. No. Actually, this Firefly looks dope. Is there any way I can upgrade this? There has to be. Come on. It cannot be weak for that long. Yeah, that sucks. Like, I really would have loved to, like, update the additional weapons since they give it to us. All right, so I guess there's nothing left else for me to do aside from, like, let's go with on with the story. Everyone, Major General Kabuki is up. Seems like he's all fine. Says he's ready to talk. Sounds good. Awesome sauce. We are in phase 10 now. I see. I get the basic idea. The expansion of the Kunad Gate and Togetsu's schemes. You did a good job gathering all this information. What we need to focus on now is stopping Togetsu's plans. If we let them be, they'll just send someone else after us. And then civilians could end up getting hurt. Do you have any idea how to stop them? Well, I do have one idea. What if we were to shut down Babe, Togetsu's control computer? The Red Strings research, execution of the plan, that's all Babe. So you're saying if we can shut Babe down, that will stop Togetsu's plans? All right, you're the ones best suited to make a decision with the information we have, so I'll follow your lead. I'll leave Togetsu to you, but if there's anything I can do, let me know. Could you act as a go-between for the new Himuka government and the Seiron provisional government for us? The new Himuka government is in a state of confusion. Resolving that could restrict Togetsu's movements. So you want me to get the governments to agree to a ceasefire? If you can fan the underlying insecurity and suspicions the politicians have for Togetsu well enough, they'll definitely say yes. Oh! Right, I'll give it a shot. I'm not a politician, though, so I don't know if they'll listen to me. I'll use my influence as a regiment commander the best I can. I'll get ready for negotiations right away. And that's a bookie for you. Get yourself into trouble. You too, sis. Take care of them. You know, I don't see the relationship between the two, but then I, I can kind of see it. Leaving Suo and Seiron to Major General Fubuki. So we're infiltrating Togetsu. What's our battle plan? Oh, we're taking on we're to get to finally. Information on the area. We should use it to make a plan. Oh, sorry. Do you mind if I leave that to you, Major? Yuito, I want to talk to you before you go to Togetsu. Oh. Okay. All right. What is it? 
You don't know? Hey, how about we go somewhere else? Um, let's see. I'll wait for you in Kikuchiba. Come when you have the time. Kagura? Sorry, I'll be right back. I'll leave the strategizing to you. Hey, Yuito! Hanabi, wait. Sugumi, everyone, there's something I have to tell you. You too, Kasane? This is about Kagura, right? We should listen. Hoda, 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 hoda. What? Oh my god, now I definitely have to play through Kasane's rail. Kagura on my own time. Talk. I bet it's about... No. I think it's best to wait until I hear him out first. <laughs> Alright. So I think... I wonder if it's about, you know, like, to hook up with the chicks. But I don't know. I guess I'll check up top. Yo, Kagero. Like, for real. Like, all the way over here? So, you came. Sorry for bringing you out here. What did you want to tell me? It's about your father, Chairman Joe Sumeragi. <gasps> you know that Kasane didn't kill him. You did. I was the one who killed the chairman. It was you? That's right. I killed him. I'm sorry I didn't tell you until now. Why? Why would you do that? How could you kill my father? <sighs> Answer me! I had no hatred for the chairman. It was for myself. I guess self-defense is a better word for it. I mean, my power is perfect for assassination. <laughs> You're not wrong. I'm sort of in charge of that kind of work. Stop it! Tell me everything. What do you think I'm doing? I'm telling you because I feel bad. I know you can't forgive me, of course. So, what do you want me to do? If you tell me to leave, I'll go. So that's how you want to do this? Yes, it is. That's the kind of guy I am, after all. Fine. You have your ways of doing things, and I have mine. Oh! Oh! Oh, so that's how it is. You don't really want to do this now, do you, kid? <laughs> My boy is 2,000 years really old. You want to fight? Fight me, Kagero. Don't think I'm playing around. Oh. 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 Hey, chill, bro. Oh my god, chill. There you go. I really wanted to use brain drive. Tell me there's... This is not the last... Tell me this is... This is the last phase, please. You won't get away that easily. <laughs> nah, Kasana's gonna come. I know it. Why does my boy be scared though? How, how are you stronger? <laughs> You'll pay for what you did. <laughs> That's what I want to know. How am I stronger? <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. Can't go out like this. Time out, Yurito. Okay? I know you want to kill me, but wait a sec. If I die now, the 2,000 years of things I did for her will all be for nothing. <laughs> Kasane, right? Or is it Sukumi? About time you told me the truth. Oh. Kagero. Oh, your toe. You, you knew. I knew you wouldn't tell me the truth if I didn't do this. And I did actually want to beat you up. You serious? Boy, do I look dumb right now. <laughs> Killing two things with one stone. I love that. <laughs> You'll tell me the truth now, won't you? Yeah. All right. Yuito, Kagero. What's up? Did we interrupt you? Yeah, we had a bro moment. We had a bromance moment. See your wounds. I'll try to fix you up. Thanks, Sukumi. <sighs> Did everyone hear that? About my father? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Kasane told us. Are you alright? Nah, I just gave him a quick beating so. lap. Bop. For now. Please, <clears throat> tell me what happened to him. Right. 
Where to begin? Kagero, this is just a conjecture on my part. But wasn't it orders from Togetsu? It was indeed. I'm an assassin sent on a mission from Togetsu to infiltrate Suo. I see. So you weren't hired by the Seiron government. It seems Chairman Sumeragi was more distrustful of Togetsu than the former chairman. They considered him a threat. Mm. So you assassinated him for Togetsu. If I wanted to crush Togetsu's plans, Babe's plans, I couldn't be seen as a troublemaker. So, so you got to get the... Defense. Had I done a little better, though, I could have fooled them and gotten by not having to assassinate anyone. Well, Kaga, you're a bit of a fool. I would say that. I'm really sorry about Chairman Sumeragi. If you tell me to face the consequences, <laughs> I will. But okay. first, I want to finish dealing with Togetsu. I know that's asking a lot, but please. Who is the she you mentioned? Is she the reason? Is that Alice? I suppose I have to tell you. I have a family I left on the moon. A wife and a daughter. Oh. I first met my wife when we were getting ready to emigrate to Earth and had our daughter. If emigration no longer happens, my daughter no longer exists. I won't let that happen. That's why I have to do everything I can to stop them from using the red strings. It was mm. all to protect your daughter. This was 2,000 years ago. She's been dead a long time, so I'm sure you think it all sounds silly. Damn. But I don't want my family, my daughter's existence, to be erased. I feel that. If your family is so important to you, why did you leave them on the moon? You could have just brought them to Earth with you. I could have if I was a normal colonist, but that wasn't the case. I was an agent placed among the colonists. My job was to make the redevelopment of Earth fail. Why? The moon spent a thousand years fixing the Earth's environment to sabotage it when it was almost finished. Did things change on the moon? If my memory serves me correctly, I heard that something flew in from outer space. What well, could that you know, have been? It's kind of a long story, but I'll tell you what happened 2,000 years ago. It was when Yakumo Sumeragi and the colonists immigrated to Earth. A comet passed close by the moon. The comet left behind the unknown substance called other particles in space. Gravity then began pulling those particles down to Earth and the moon. Okay. Earth was still mostly unpopulated, so the effects were unknown. But the moon began to have cases of people turning into monsters. Wait, what? Monsters? Do you mean... Yes, metamorphosis. If a living creature comes into contact with the other particles, they change into aberrations, into others. At the time, the redevelopment of Earth had moved to the final step of gravity control. If that were sabotaged, we could stop the other particles falling to the moon. Basically, that was the moon faction's plan, and I was an agent who had been given secret orders to carry it out. Damn. Yaku Sumeragi and the rest of the colonists were already on Earth. You were just going to leave them to die? It's terrible, I know. But people like Yakumo resisted the moon's wishes, and the plan ended in failure. So the moon put plan B into action. They pushed the other particles toward Earth, surrounding it, and making it so we couldn't return home. Other particles surrounding Earth. The extinction belt. I think it's safe to say that the moon's space technology is far ahead of ours. The moon was overpopulated at the time, and I heard most of the people went to Earth. It was probably a plan to reduce the population. I was cut off from the moon, so staying on Earth was the only option. I don't know what happened on the moon after that. It's probably like a bombshell or something. The metamorphosis might have spread. More people like my sister. Even so, I believed that my family was safe and joined Togetsu so I could return to the moon. I went That's in high and out optimism. of sleep many times, trading off with comrades as we searched for a way to break through the extinction belt. But after several awakenings, I realized Togetsu had changed their plans. There was just no way I could allow them to reset history. That's why becoming a traitor was the path I chose. Mm. 
I understand. My father wasn't perfect. He would often make mistakes, especially when it came to how he led the government. But he was family, the only father I had. I just can't forgive you for killing him. Understandable. But it's because of that. I understand your desire to protect your family. So let's stop Togetsu together. I will always resent you. But I think I can stand up to them with you. All right. Are you sure? <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, I'm sure. I might have done something distasteful to further my goal if I had taken a wrong turn somewhere as well. So I think I understand a little bit of your actions. You know, you're much more mature than I am. Or maybe I'm just too immature. <laughs> in the end, I made you decide after all. So lame. <laughs> Let me help you stop Togetsu. All right, brother. Sounds good. Are you finished? Yep. Kasane, I caused you so much trouble. I'm sorry. Stop acting so meek all of a sudden. It's weird. <clears throat> Kasane, I thought you were the one who killed my father. <laughs> I'm sorry I doubted you. As she was there. Just as much my fault for not saying anything. When I wanted to kill you, I thought that having you hate me would keep me focused on the task. I guess that makes sense. So just, just a you tiny don't bit. have to apologize. Yeah, okay. That's enough talk for now then. I'm sure you all have your own questions. Even I don't understand what's going on. But we have to work together and focus on what needs to be done. If that is your decision, I don't think we have anything else left to say. All right. So our main mission is to go to Togetsu as soon as we can and stop Babe. Yes, we got to stop Babe. You think of using my power to make everyone invisible in order to infiltrate it. Isn't that what we all we been doing? We probably assume that Kagero and I are both known traitors by now. Yep. We Kyoko. don't have time to dwell on it. It's dangerous. <laughs> but I believe Kagero's plan has potential. Togetsu probably doesn't expect an attack from such a small force. Let's consider it a sneak attack. Yosh. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. First, we'll climb Hiano Mountain and get close to Togetsu. All right, let's go do it. That was not good on my Level freaking 50. I'm glad you're both okay. Wataru, Haruka, I'm sorry I made you worry. Yeah. 